Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk and today I want to share with you my 10 free, highly useful tools for web developers. Um, I created a blog post a while ago and that lists out the ones that I'm going to go through. So let's start with number one, Link Sleuth. So if I just type in Zenu, and basically what this can do is it can check a site for you. So if I put in a website that I did, um, Fiona Whitfield Art, it's only in UAT at the moment, but if I put in this web address and I click on OK, this will go through that website for me, checking that all of the links work, that um, everything comes back OK, there are no errors on it. So I found that there are errors on this, so that way I can do something about it. So yeah, it's a really good tool for that, and at the end it gives a report. Do you want a report? Yes, I do. Um, I don't want to set up FTP. So yeah, it's saying broken links ordered by link, and then it'll say broken links ordered by page. So it's really helpful for you for finding broken links on your website. So that was the first one. So let's go back to the list. We've got HT Track. Now this is a good one. Um, say if you've got somebody who's already got a website, and perhaps that website is built in WordPress, and you want to get the HTML of that website and CSS and JavaScript, and then put it in your own um, site. I would do it for Umbrico. So I could take a WordPress site and then rebuild it in Umbrico. Well, that's how I would do it with this. I would use HTTrack. So if we go to HTTrack, I've got it open here. So using that same, um, using that same website, I'm just going to put in the URL. So fionawhitfieldart.com and then hit finish. And what this will do is it will just go to that website, download all the assets, all the every, everything that is linked to basically, all the pages, all the content, HTML, and then it will put it into um, a My Websites folder. So we can see the progress that it's making with it. Um, so that might take a while, but essentially it just downloads everything for you. So you've got a static HTML site and you can then use that. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't really need that. But that's the idea. So let's close that. So next, um, Trello. So I'm sure you must have heard of Trello by now, but if you haven't, then um, this is basically going to show you what it is. So it's a way to organize your work. You can have multiple boards, and in a board you have cards. So this is um, demo. So I've created a new board. So if I want, I can do a to-do list, and I can do a in progress, and then I can do done. And then the idea is that you, you can manage your workload so you can and you can have multiple people contributing to a board as well so lots of people can see it so i'm going to say build the front end build the database um, integrate the two and then you can just drag that over say that's in progress that's done now that's in progress and the good thing is other people can see this board if you give them access to it you can add members people can see it see what your progress is on things like that and also you can click into a card and you can add comments to it and other people can see those comments as well and you can see here that there are comments so this helps if you want a lightweight version of uh, this is like supposedly it's, it, it's like a Kanban board and um, instead of something like Jira you might be able to use this if you don't really have much of a budget or if it's just for personal stuff you might just want to keep track of things. I know my friend Jamie Taylor who he runs three blogs and he manages his ideas for blog posts in here so do I um, but he does it a lot more in detail uh, of the ideas and how he adds to them so uh, yeah I'll put a link um, in the show notes to his blog on how he manages his workload for his blogs. But yeah, so it's, it's a good tool and um, you can use it to lots of different ways. You can also integrate it with um, Slack. 
uh, which brings me on to my next point. So Slack, what is Slack? So Slack is like an instant messaging. Um, it's like a chat. It's like a chat app, but you can be part of many chat teams, uh, Slack teams. So I've got about seven or eight that I'm part of. I've got one for work. I've got one for my code share. I've got one for um, a podcast that I listen to, one for a tech meetup that I go to. And basically, it's just like a forum. But instead of it being a forum, which is searchable on Google and things like that, it's more of a private thing. Um, and people just go on there and chat away, and it's all instant. And you can have private messages between members, or you can chat within a channel. It's good if you say you've got developers who um, need to be notified when there's an error on your website. Well, you can get things to post to Slack. So I did a, um, a library. Uh, it's a NuGet package. I'll show you that, actually. So PRJ seal NuGet Slack bot messages. Let's see if this comes up. <clears throat> here we go. So I've got the GitHub repo here. And then I, so I did a Slack bot messages. And the idea of this is you can just um, send a message to Slack. So you create your webhook and that sends it over to Slack. So it will appear on here like someone sent you a message maybe in the general channel or what have you. So anyway, um, on this as well, with Slack, you can create chatbots. And I did a hangman chatbot recently. I did it as one of my blog posts and a video on it. Um, so I've integrated that in here. So now I can play the, the game with, with the chatbot within Slack. Anyway, we're not going to go through the game, but I just thought I'd show you that as well. So that's Slack. It's really good. Um, use it all the time. What's next? Telerik Converter. So if you're a programmer, you've probably heard of this. Uh, so what this can do is it can convert your code from C Sharp to VB or vice versa. So if I've just pasted in some code from my website, a bit of caching code that I did, and then it's um, converted it for me, and then I can use that within uh, VB if I want to. So it's really handy. So that's converter.telerik.com. Again, all the links are on this blog post. So I'll make sure I link to this blog post, and then you can go to this to get the links for everything. Um, Builtwith.com. So if we go to, if we type in codeshare.co.uk, you can find out basically what any website has been built with what things it's used and what resources. So you can see that I'm using Encapsula for my um, CDN and anti-denial uh, of service protection. Um, oh yeah, I'm with Fasthost. I've got Umbrico, Google Analytics, all these sort of things. It, it is able to pick those up. So it's really good if you wanted to know what, what a website's been built with. You can have a look on here and, uh, and find out. Then going back to the list, we've got another one, caniuse.com. So this is good if you're wondering what features of HTML and things like that. If you want to use it, what browsers does it support or what browsers support it? And so let's say the picture tag. I don't know if you're aware of the picture tag, um, but it's a, it's a good feature on um, HTML5. So if I just do HTML5 picture... The idea is that you can have three di well, many different size um, breakpoints in your responsive app, and you might want to serve out a different size image. So maybe if you've got a mobile website, you've got a website which is desktop, but when you go to mobile, you want to reduce the bandwidth, so you only serve out the smaller size image and things like that. So this demo that they've got on here on W3 Schools, it just shows you there. Oh, let me get rid of that. Yeah, so the demo shows you that it can go between the different sizes. So yeah, that's that's a good one, the picture tag. But the only problem with that is can I use says that it's not supported in IE 11. It is supported in Edge. Yeah, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, but it's not on Opera Mini and only just on uh, Android browser. So it's a good way to find out what what browsers support what features. So definitely worth looking at that one. 
web page test this is good for checking the performance of your website I just before this I ran a, um, a test on my website so and it didn't like my first byte time so it took too long for the first byte time usually I get that with about two or three seconds so this time it seems a bit slow uh, but it's happy with my other things and my static content caching is okay. And it goes into all sorts of detail. It even tells you how much it would cost somebody in different countries to actually go to my website. Let me see if I can find that. Um, details. Yeah, so there's all sorts of things showing you here on what it's what is involved in this in my page how my page is made up how long everything took to load and you can even watch a video of it loading it's really good then we've got the next item on the list is linkpad linkpad's good if you want to um, do some coding but you don't want to do a full-blown application you just want to test the method out try something out well you can do that with uh, linkpad uh, got link pad open here so you can do file uh, say a new query it's a C sharp program let's say and then I can just do console dot right line so it's good for if you're trying to learn new language and things like that new programming language so you see that's printed out to the console, but you can do most things that you can do in Visual Studio in terms of writing C-sharp code. Um, and you can also add um, namespaces and things like that, even NuGet. So that's that's really good, a nice useful one for you there. Uh, so that's Linkpad. I did do a blog post about that. So if you go to my site, you'll be able to see the blog post that I wrote about it. It goes into more detail. Then there's Lorem Pixel. So this one is, it generates a random image and a size that you want. So say if you're doing a website and you want a 400 by 400 image here and something there. So it basically will just randomly, whenever that URL is requested, it will randomly serve an image. So it's good for like mocking up websites and things like that if you just want while you're in that design process you can theme it as well so maybe you just want a, um, a sports image or like a nature image so i'm picking on this nature the size that i want maybe nine nine three six by one oh one nine and you can also choose grayscale as well click on the uh, button here oh that's not worked <laughs> So let's just reduce it down and just have a look again. Do colour image. No, that, their website's buggy, not mine. But um, you can click on the links and see. Basically, if I refresh this, it's going to do a different image each time I do a refresh. So it's quite handy, and that's within the category of sports. So I could do nature and refresh, and I could change the size. Maybe I want to do an 800 by 800 image. And then refresh and it will just keep changing it for you so when it's on a website that you're mocking up you've done a static site perhaps um, it just doesn't look as boring with gray and placeholder images and things like that so that's that's a nice useful one then finally as an extra there's plural site so basically you can get a 10-day free trial of plural site if you use this link on my website at the end of this blog post and then you can watch videos and do tutorials so maybe you want to learn about c sharp even umbraco um, javascript there's all of the different frameworks on there you've got angular uh, react there's loads on there so you can um, let's have a look what courses software development let's have a look web development front-end web development get started building a web app with ASP.NET Core MVC 6. If you want to learn all these things, you can just sign up for a free 10-day trial. You won't have to pay anything. See if you like it. And then if you like it, I think you can uh, stay as a member and pay a monthly fee. But otherwise, you can cancel it if it's not for you. 
So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. It's, um, it's a good one. It's useful, that one is. Anyway, if you want to find this blog post, it's either in the description or go to codeshare.co.uk and it's this last one here. So this is the post. It's got all of the links. Um, so yeah, that is it. There's 10 really useful um, links and tools on there. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click on like. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this uh, video with other people as well so they can benefit from it. And um, I'll try and make some more videos for you going forward. So thanks for watching.